Hi guys, let's look at the homework questions for exercise 20B. We'll start with question number 4. It says radius and height of a cone are in the ratio 5 is to 12. So let radius be 5x centimeter. Therefore, height is 12x centimeter. Find radius and slant height. And volume is given uh, using Pythagoras theorem. We get L is equal to R square plus H square. The square root of it, we know 5, 12 and 13 are Pythagorean triplet, which means L will be equal to 13x centimeter. Volume, which is given by the formula 1 by 3 pi R square H is given equal to 2512. They have asked us to take pi as 3.14, which means 1 by 3 into 3.14 into R, which is 5x multiplied with 5x into H, which is 12x is given equal to 2512. That 3 into 1, 3 into 4, which means this is 3.14 multiplied with 5 into 5, 25 into 4, that's 100x cube is equal to 2512. 3.14 into 100, that 314, which means x cube is equal to 2512 upon 314. And 314 into 8, yes, 4 into 8, 32, 8 into 1, 8 plus 3, 11, 24 plus 1, 25. Yes, times 8 is equal to 2512, therefore x is equal to 2, which means radius is equal to 5x which means 10 centimeter and slant height is equal to 13 X, which is 13 into 2, 26 centimeter. That's what they want us to calculate. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number five. It says two right circular cones X and Y are made. So this is cone X and this is cone Y. Perfect. So cone X and cone Y are made. Cone X has three times the radius of Y. Okay. So let radius is equal to R. So here radius is equal to three times R. Let's read it again. X has three times the radius of Y done and Y having half the volume of X. Okay. and calculate the ratio between height of x and uh, y. So height will be equal to, let's call it hx, and let's say the height here is equal to hy. It says y having half the volume of x. Yes. What's the formula for volume? Volume of x is given by 1 by 3 pi r, in this case 3r whole square, into 2h in this case hx and volume of y will be equal to 1 by 3 times pi into r square in this case r square into h in this case hy and what's given is vy is equal to half of vx let's just check y having half the volume of x perfect we need to calculate the ratio between the heights of x and y let's substitute so vy is 1 by 3 pi r square hy is equal to half of vx which is 1 by 3 pi 3 r square which means 9 r square multiplied with hx this 1 by 3 pi and 1 by 3 pi gets cancelled r square and r square gets cancelled so what we have here is hy is equal to 9 by 2 of hx Yes, 9 by 2 of hx. They want the ratio of hx and y, which means height of x upon height of y would be equal to 2 upon 9. Since they want it in the ratio form, so hx is to hy is equal to 2 is to 9. Simple question. Let's move on and solve the next one. The next one that we do is question number 6. It says diameters of two cones are equal. If the slant heights are in some ratio, find the ratio of the curved surface area. So let's say this is cone 1 and this is cone 2. The diameters are equal. 
which means a radius is equal to r and the radius here is also equal to r because this is diameter upon 2 slant heights are in the ratio 5 is to 4 so this is l1 let's say this is x no not x they are in the ratio 5 is to 4 and this is l2 so l1 is to l2 is given equal to 5 is to 4 which means let l1 is equal to 5x therefore l2 is equal to 4x so l1 is 5x and l2 is 4x find the ratio of the curved surface area so curved surface area of cone 1 will be given by the formula pi r l in this case pi into r into 5x and curved surface area of the second cone will be given by pi r l in this case pi into r into l which is 4x they want the ratio of the curved surface area which means csa of 1 upon csa of 2 would be equal to pi r into 5x and this is pi r into 4x pi r and pi r get cancelled x and x get cancelled which means csa 1 is to csa 2 would be 5 is to 4 that's very wanted in the ratio form we've written it in the ratio form Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 7. It says there are two cones. The curved surface area of one is twice that of the other. Okay. So again, cone 1 and cone 2. The slant height of the latter is twice that of. Okay. So curved surface area of 1 is equal to 2 times curved surface area of 2. Yes, that's what's given. Curved surface area of 1 is equal to 2 times curved surface area of 2 and slant height of latter is twice that of the former, which means L2 is equal to 2 times L1. So let radius is equal to R1. Here, radius is equal to R2. Uh, L1 and L2, what do we have to calculate? We have to find the ratio of their radii. Curved surface area is given by the formula pi R1 into L1. Correct? And L2 is equal to 2 times L1, which means L2 is equal to 2 times L1. In this case, curved surface area of 2 is given by the formula pi R2 into uh, slant height in this case 2 l1 we need to find the ratio of the area we know csa1 is equal to 2 times csa2 let's substitute values which means pi into r into l1 is equal to 2 times pi into r2 into r2 into 2 times l1 pi this is R1, sorry, this is I1. Yes, pi and pi gets cancelled. So what we have here is R and L1 and L1 also gets cancelled, which means R1 is equal to 4 R2. They want the ratio of the radii, which means R1 is to R2 is equal to 4 is to 1. Uh, the board usually never asks questions uh, like this, which are ratio based, but we can still look at some questions. That brings me to the last question that I'll do with you as homework, which is question number nine. Question number nine says, find what length of canvas 1.5 meter in width is required to make a conical tent of diameter 48 and height seven meter. So radius is given equal to 48 upon two, which is 24 meter height is given equal to 7 meter. Next, uh, we need to find the curved surface area because the curved surface area would be used for the canvas. Therefore, we'll have to calculate the slant height, which means slant height is equal to L, which will be 25 meter since 24, 27 and 5, 25 are Pythagorean triplet since 7, 24 and 25 
are Pythagorean triplets. Done. So what we need is therefore area of canvas required is equal to curved surface area of tent is equal to pi r l is equal to 22 upon 7 into r which is 24 into l which is 25. So this is the area of canvas required. Now we've done a question like this before earlier as well. So this is basically uh, the, the piece of canvas. This is 1.5 meter in uh, width and we need to calculate the length. Let the length be a. This area of the canvas is equal to the area of the tent, which means a multiplied with 1.5 meter is equal to 22 upon 7 into 24 into 25. Let length of canvas be a meter, which means a would be equal to 22 upon 7 into 24 into 25 upon 1.5. So that's 5 into 0 0.3. That's 5 into 5. Yes, that's 5, which is uh, with 0 0.3 into 1 and 0 0.3 into 80. Yes, that's 5. So this is 22 into 5. That's 110. Yes, 110 multiplied with 80 upon 7, which is 8800 upon 7. Now, let's divide. 8800 upon 7, that's 717. 18, 7 into 2, 14. That's 40. That's 7 into 5, 35. That's 50. 7 into 7, 49. That's 10. If I put a decimal here, that's 7 into 1, 7. At 30, that's 7 into 4, 28. So therefore, A is equal to 1257.14 meter. I have removed the second part of the question where there was a, a percentage increase due to stitching. The ICC board never asked such questions. That part is not a part of the syllabus. So that finishes the homework video. Take care, be safe. I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.